How many have just been spoken to this evening by the Lord? Amen. And tonight, you know, earlier I was given a uh, piece of paper. And on this piece of paper was a blank piece of paper. And how many of us know that, Victor Irish, we are going to declare in 2020, and we're going to allow God to fill in this blank piece of paper of our lives. How many can say amen? And so tonight, we are going to hand out our declarations, and we want to say a prayer together as a church, because how many believe that God has something supernatural for our lives this year? How many believe that? You know, the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 18 that there's life and death in the power of our tongue. And the words we speak are spirit and life. I believe that in Mark chapter 11, verse 23, Jesus teaches us that our faith is released through our words. He says, speak to that mountain, it shall be removed. And how many of us know, Victor Arch, we are going to speak into our 2020 tonight. We are going to speak into our family, our children, our ministry, our calling. And how many could agree that we are going to declare tonight, we are going to make a statement, come on somebody, that we are going to live under an open heaven in 2020. You know, I love when Pastor shared earlier at a book of Job, chapter 22, that the Bible says when you decree something, right, it shall be established. And how many know, Victor Arch, we have decreed God's word over our life. We have decreed his blessing over our life. We've decreed to follow his plan and his will through his word. And how many can say amen tonight? So we are going to make an open declaration as a church, as a statement. Jeremiah 29 verse 11, the Bible says, I know the plans that I have towards you, says the Lord. And how many of us know that is a statement from God? That is a declaration from God. That his statement was not to harm us, but to prosper us. And how many of us know that God's word does not go back void? But his promises are yes and amen. So how many know as we declare God's word, this is not just a piece of paper to have tonight to take home this evening. But I believe if you activate these declarations within your life every morning, thanking God for a beautiful day and speaking the words of God over your life and declaring what we're making a statement together as a church, I really believe that you're going to see his word come to pass within our lives. We're speaking into our future. We're speaking into our family we're speaking into our 2020 and like Zanel shared earlier we're speaking into our decade come on somebody and how many know victor Irish? we're gonna we're gonna continue to make an impact in the kingdom of heaven somebody say amen so as as a church can we do this together can we make a stand together can we make a declaration together that we are going to declare and speak into our 2020 come on now Abraham said this, he said, he spoke those things that do not exist as though they are. So we're speaking under an open heaven tonight, and we're declaring a statement that is going to open up the things of God for our lives. So why don't you stand with me, and we're going to read this together as a church. They're going to put this behind me. And listen, don't let this be a ritual. Let this be life, because remember, there's power in our tongue tonight. There's power in the words that we speak. Release it. Release it. If you're, if, you're, if you're married, you have your spouse next to you. Gather with your spouse. If you have your children, get with your children. If you're single, come on, somebody. We're going to declare that God's going to bless you with the right person. Come on now. But we could agree together. How many could agree together tonight? So we're going to declare under an open heaven this evening as Victor Outreach. And we're going to read this together on the count of three. And let's make a statement all the way from the back to the front. Don't let this just be words, but th let this be in your spirit that you declare this over your life. As we start with an open heaven, let's begin to declare it. Say, Lord, we, we declare that 2020 is a year of declaration. We declare that we will not be silent. We declare that we will not be watchers, but we will worship with you with our mouth, our substance, our gifts, and our life we declare that heaven is open over our lives marriages our families our homes and our church we declare that we will walk as kings and priests we will walk in the spirit and not in the flesh we will walk as anointed children of god servants of the most high god we will no longer walk in the natural but we'll walk in the supernatural 
Unbelief is defeated and faith is strong. Now declare it. We declare every mountain removed in Jesus' name. We declare healing in our bodies, healing in our hearts. We will not be defiled by the world. We will not be, dis be distracted or diverted from our purpose. We declare that we will take possession of every good treasure that you have prepared for us as your children. We are a supernatural people who serve a supernatural God. And we declare that you have prepared an inheritance for us. We declare our hearts made pure according to your word. We cancel every defeat every spirit of opposition in our lives and in our church we cancel sickness and we cast out every trespasser every contrary spirit that opposes us let's declare this together church with the authority that we have in god come on we declare that angels are active when we pray and when we fast and the lord will fight our battles as heaven remains open we declare revival in our church and we declare revival in our ministry we will go forward into a new decade with the vision of Victory Outreach to take the world for Jesus. We declare leaders will be raised, ministers will be empowered, and the people will be strong. We declare that churches will be planted and that countries will be shaken when we pray. Someone say, open heaven. Do you, do you believe it? Are you ready for the power zone? It's getting stronger. Let's get ready for the power zone. Let's start, let's begin on three. I declare, I decree and declare. One, two, three. I decree and declare I will follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. I desire to walk in the steps of the Lord Jesus Christ, Adonai, alone. I seek only to dwell in the Lord's presence and for his presence. His spirit to fill me to overflowing. My desire is to carry the power and glory of the Lord, Adonai, everywhere I go. I decree and declare God, Elohim, will do wonders in the midst of all who dwell in his presence to those who are dedicated and consecrated with pure hearts. It is his joy to make himself known to those who seek him. I decree and declare I will step forth as the Lord, Adonai, leads. It is his strength and his strategy by which the victory will be won. My trust is in God, Elohim, alone. I will not fear. Behold, the sovereign of all the earth is advancing before me and is my rear guard. He is the victor. Expect his glory to touch the atmosphere, to touch the individuals near you. Submit to him and he will use you. Say, I will live in the power zone. Soul winning. Lord, I decree and declare that the power of the gospel visit and enter the heart of any unsafe family member wherever they are in Jesus' name. I declare that the works of the devil be destroyed in the lives of my loved ones as the gospel of Jesus Christ is shared with them. We declare Luke 4, 18, 19, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Lord, give us the heart and all it takes to persist in soul winning. Blood of Jesus Christ, silence every voice that wants to discourage us from evangelizing. We prophesy over this city and communities in which we live. Isaiah 45, 2 and 3. That you will go before us and make the crooked places straight. You will break in pieces the gates of bronze and cut the bars of irons. You will give us the treasures of darkness and of secret places that you may know that I... The Lord who calls you by name, I am the God of Israel. I declare and decree that the churches will not grow weary. In doing well, for in due season, they will reap a harvest. I decree that the Holy Ghost fire will fall upon every area of the city in which we live. That you, mighty one, will chase away every dark spirit, tying down destinies in Jesus' name. I declare and decree we preach your word with power, authority, boldness, love, and sensitivity, and, it, and be confirmed with miracles, signs, and wonders. The challenge, as we did tonight, is to, pre to prevail and pray for those names we nail to the cross until, until, until they are answered, to witness every soul every day, to gently win a soul a month. And how many believe that God's going to bring in the harvest? Amen. How many believe that? Remember, out of, out, of, out of the belly flow, flow springs of living water. So when you declare these words, when you speak these words, it's like that blank piece of paper I had earlier, right? 
You're filling in the blanks for your 2020. You're speaking it into existence. And I really believe that as you say these words, listen, the prophet, Naaman, right? He told him, look, he went and he said, look, go cleanse yourself seven times. It's not how it's presented. It's how, how it's the obedience that we have to have in Christ. Come on, somebody. And when we obey God's word, how many of his word comes to pass and is activated within our life? So let's finish strong. Let's declare this over the heart for our ministry. Let's start on three. One, two, three. We will not do ministry in our strength, but in God's strength, because our power and ability comes from the Holy Spirit. Zechariah 4, 6. Not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord Almighty. The challenge is when an opportunity arises, someone say, rise up. The third wave. Let's begin to declare this over our third wave on the count of three. One, two, three. We declare that there would be revival in our generation. We declare miracles release and a new anointing to be poured out upon us. We declare rapid results. We declare that within the next five years, we would see the fulfillment of the promise Isaiah 54, 2 and 3. Let us be the arrows in the quiver of our founders, pastors, and leaders. We declare vessels of honor and power to rise up. We declare that pure vessels, soul winners, and skilled disciple makers would take their place. We declare a hunger and thirst for the presence of God. We declare fresh revelation through prayer and your word. We declare that we would be vessels of God's power and that through prayer and fasting, we would see our generation saved. The challenge for us is to impart into a third waiver and commit. And how many know we could do that, church? Planting a seed. You ready to close strong? Let's plant a seed on three. One, two, three. We are under an open heaven so that there are seeds to be sown for our future harvest. I declare that every seed that is planted in prayer and fasting will guide me to dig deeper and produce a powerful breakthrough. I declare that every seed that is planted through my praise and worship will open the heavens over my church. I declare that every seed that is planted through my tithes, offering, and pledges will produce a harvest of 30, 60, and 100 fold return. I will use the harvest of my return to build God's kingdom. I declare that I will not have enough room to receive the open window blessing that you're going to pour over my life, over my finances, over my business, over my church. In Jesus' name, amen. Deuteronomy 28, 12, 13, declare the word of your life tonight. The Lord will open to you his good treasures, the heavens to give the rain to your land in its season, and to bless all the work of your hand. You shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. And how many declare that over your life, Victor Outreach? Come on, how many declare that over your life? Now to take this each day for the next 360 plus days, speak it into your 2020 speak it into your future speak it in your decade if you believe it with me lift up your hands and worship it and begin to pray over your household if you're, if you're with your spouse pray together for your family your children pray over all these areas that open heaven would be activated a declaration that has been made tonight on january 18th you're declaring it you're speaking it you're calling those things that do not exist as though they are why because you have the authority you have the blood of Jesus and it's by the word of your testimony today that you're overcoming and you're speaking it, speak it and speak it, come on right through your ass speak it in your 2020 as you worship him, hallelujah Jesus 